Whoa, how's everybody doing out there? This is the black effect, the real black effect. You already know how we do things. That good old ghetto. Usher had came out with a song. It was uh, one of a song that I used to really like as when I was a, a young man because I it resonated with me and I understood this coming from, you know, the the inner city of, or or the urban environment or ghetto as you can call it, whatever you want to call it. It was a song called "The Good Old Ghetto." It said, "Ayo, ayo, ayo, ain't nothing like some good old ghetto, ghetto." And that was Usher's song. In the song, he had lyrics that was speaking of him, you know, coming to an event. And he, you know, as Usher, as a famous Usher now, that he met up with a, a girl that he used to know when he was in school, you know what I'm saying? And that came from the ghetto and, and things like that. He met up with her again and he already had a girlfriend, but, you know, because the that attraction was so strong that he couldn't control himself. You know, this is typical, <laughs> typical Usher R&B lyrics, you know what I'm saying? But that was it was a dope song, though. Lyrics where I told my man I'm having a barbecue. Bring some, he brought this shorty that I used to knew when I was. It brought me back to when I was in school. She said, Usher, where have you been? We used to kick it every now and then. And you remember when I used to call your phone and tell you, come on, because my mom was gone. So that he, you know, he was reliving all of that, you know, her calling him over, you know, to come sneak in the crib. We've experienced that. If you know, if you've been in the, uh, you know, in the hood or whatever, and you've been you've dealt with the women or what, you know, what I'm saying and girls, we've all experienced that. We've had that that experience. Now, what I'm saying, I say all that to say this that that good old ghetto coochie or the good old ghetto the ghetto d you know like this is something that's a real thing and it's something that you need to like us as people who are trying to be progressive and do you got to get away from that man like Usher himself, like even to this day, I bet you Usher still is addicted to that ghetto, that ghetto coochie, man. Like, you know, that if a chick from that who ain't got nothing, she could just come from the bottom, jumping straight out Figueroa. She can come in, you know, and Usher will give her the D. Don't you? You should have more respect for yourself as a man, Usher. Not saying that it's nothing wrong because we all come from that. You know what I'm saying? But you have to once you're trying to do better then you have to do better. You can't be going back to the same things, doing the same things you used to do, you know, dealing with the same people because what come with that good old ghetto too come with a lot of drama. Do you understand? When It don't just come for free. You know, like when you see dudes like just, you be like looking at dudes who got, got their own businesses, got affluent jobs and things like that. Niggas who work in, you know, good nine to five, got careers. But you catch them in the strip clubs all the time. You catch them, you know what I'm saying, in, in getting busted on Harry Hines at, in, at, at three in the morning. And you looking at niggas like, man, what's up with you, G? You know what I'm saying? Why is you frequenting in the worst neighborhoods and you, you know, you stay in DeSoto and you, you coming from the bird? What are you doing out here? It's that good old ghetto, man. That's what it is. Don't 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 sit here and play coy with me. You know what I'm talking about. Like these ghetto, like the, the ghetto hood rat chick, you know, she doing like dudes look at her as the fun girl. You know what I'm saying? Because she out here doing everything. She, you know, she out here a sed seducing guys. She, you know, she'll give she'll play with dudes, uh um, with with their sexual, you know, sexual emotions and things. She'll she'll go out there and give you a little taste of, of what you can get. You know, look at these OnlyFans women. They are busting it loose for everybody, man. If, you know, from the incel dude to the to the fat dude to the skinny to the to the dusty. They busting it for everybody. Do you understand? They don't and the hood chick, she been sleeping with dude. Like she been skilled at sleeping around since for a young age. That's just the environment. You know, that's the environment, that's the culture there. And do see that. And that's something like they see that as being a very sexually appealing. Like, you know, and for whoremonger males, the whoremongers are looking for the whores. If and I'm not saying every and every chick that come from the ghetto is not a whore. 
No, she's not. You had some good. We we know them. Like there were some decent women who came from that same environment, you know, and they be, they were good women. Now, you didn't never see them sleeping around. They were they had fathers in their life and they were taught right. You understand? And they went on to do great things and be good. But you know what? That brings me to this point. Those women who try to do women who go off and get live affluent and or living in affluence, they doing good for themselves. Even they like fall victim to the good ghetto, good old ghetto. Why you think you got women like, you know, you be seeing who in working these jobs, who working these corporate jobs. Look at they baby daddy. They baby daddy ain't shit. This is some hood nigga. Look at that chick who on the internet right now, man. Like you got women who on the internet right now running their mouth about black men and, and what black men ain't doing. But look at they baby daddy. Look at the nigga they with. He ain't shit. The, he is a hood nigga. You know what I'm saying? They always some hood nigga and they do that on purpose. Like these women know better. They do that on purpose. Do you understand? But and, you know, some women, they don't even like a lot of some women now who get get older and get money, like who, who get older and are able to do good for themselves. They don't even want to get behind a righteous man. They don't want to go get no decent dude who on their level. They go get a nigga that they can run and can go get some ghetto D from. They can go get some ghetto D from him. They know that they don't really need him uh, financially. They know that he can't really tell them anything. He can't, you know, he's not going to try to try to really tell them. He do. He too busy and he too busy running the streets doing his doing his knucklehead stuff. But what he can get him is some ghetto D. The niggas on perks. You know, the nigga perked up. The nigga, you know what I'm saying? Hitting him with the perk, with, with the perk six. He uh the 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 niggas I heard drink, he he drunk as hell, hitting him with the drunk set. He's you know what I'm saying, all that stuff. He on lean. Like that, you know, the nigga just got out of jail. Like the nigga may hit like may may have sex with him and like a you know, like a nigga fresh out the pen. That's like they might be something that they into. But women do that too. They fall victim to being in a to being on the next level, but stooping down and ruining they like they might even ruin their relationships by going and trying to get the good ghetto, the good old ghetto, man. That good old, good old ghetto. It's the ghetto D and, and, and the ghetto coochie. Like dudes and men and women have both fell victim to this. Listen to me. Usher told you. Now you now that you hear this, you can go check out that song. It's called Good Old Ghetto. And I think it's on Usher 8701 album. You can go find that. But you know I'm telling the truth. So with that being said, this is your man Nico B, the real black effect. I'm gone.